Today we're gonna to look at conditional formatting or highlighting based on another cell. I'm gonna start with highlighting the client name when the rep name is a certain value. So I'm gonna select here what I want to highlight, right click, conditional formatting, and then here is my apply to range. So this is what is going to be highlighted. And then format cells, I'm gonna to go to custom formula. And then here I can do equals, dollar sign, and then the column I want to look in. So for example, I will look in the rep column. I'm going to do D. And then I'm going to do the same starting row as my apply to range. So in this case, six. And then I can do the name. And so just look at the syntax real quick here. Equals that first cell. And then another equals. And then a text string inside double quotes. And so now you can see all the wings are highlighted green. So we can pick whatever color here that you want. And those will be highlighted accordingly. So just a quick, if we want to do multiple of these, let me reset for just a second. So this is the saved one. I can click on this, go to add another rule, and then I can modify this. So let's change this to Katie. Change it to that color. And I can see both of those. Now, if you X this out and you're like, well, how do I get back to that? Click any cell in where this is highlighted, right click, more cell actions, conditional formatting, and there they are again. So we could do this again and do add another rule. And we could change this one to Daniel, for example. And then we could change that color there as well. So that's how it looks to highlight based on another cell in the same row based on text. So let's do one more option here, and I'm gonna show you how to highlight based on a fixed cell. So we could highlight basically, I pick Wayne, we're gonna highlight those rows. All right, so let's look next at amount. So what if you wanna look at the amount instead of the rep? So let's go here, and let's say F is less than 5,000. And so notice I got rid of the double quotes because this is a number. And then let's hit done. Let's get rid of these real quick. So if we look, this one is less than 5,000, and so is this one. Now, maybe we want to highlight the entire row. And this works whether you're doing the rep or a number like this. So we can change this to F, so B6 to F13. And now you can see it's highlighting the entire row. And then we could change this. So if we want to save this, we could duplicate this, add another rule. And we could do greater than, maybe we'll do greater than 10,000. And this one will be green. And so now you can see anything less than 5,000, yellow. Anything greater than 10,000 is green. We could even maybe bump this up a little bit, go to 20. And it looks just like that. All right, so now let's look at how to highlight based on a, another cell. So let's say we select Wayne. We want that entire row to highlight. So let's go ahead and go back to here. We go back to our equals. And so now we're going to go back to D. And then we want to compare it to this cell. So how we do that. So if we just type in D3, it's not going to stay in the right place. So it'll find it here, but it won't find it anywhere else. So if you take a look here where we add this dollar sign, we're going to do the same thing here, but we're going to do it before both. The D and the three. And so now we can highlight yellow just like that. And now everything with Wayne is being highlighted. So now if we change it to Katie, you can see Katie's being highlighted. Or if we change it to Simon and so forth. So that's how you can use a single cell to highlight. And so finally, let's look at a similar example of what if we put 5,000 in here and we want everything above this number. So let's go back to our rule. We'll go to more than, and then update this cell to this one. And then finally, we need to change this to F, and there we go. So now everything greater than this. So if we go to 10,000, you can see it goes to there, we go to 20, and now you can see that anything greater than 20,000 is being highlighted. So the sky is the limit on this. You can use many different scenarios to this. I just want to show you the basics of highlighting within a row 
or just a single cell in the spreadsheet. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this video is helpful for you. Check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.